Let's be honest, we've all been there. Someone sends you a file, but it's in PDF format. And you have to do all these shenanigans, make a copy of this, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. And I know what you feel like, and you're probably having a ton of headaches. So a few weeks ago, UPDF reached out to me with their software, and they're also kind enough to sponsor today's review. So today in this video, let's talk about my experiences with UPDF that I've been using for the past few weeks. So now that I'm in high school, I realize that different teachers have completely different teachers teaching styles. Some like to hand out papers like the old days, some use Google Slides and Google Docs, and some uses PDF. And I found that PDFs are incredibly hard to deal with, especially if you want to make some changes right on the spot. Alright, so I just typed in PDF in my Google Drive and no way so much PDF files, like that's actually more than I imagined. That's crazy. And this is on my school account, so I'm assuming I'm assuming not much people in the school have a good PDF editor like UPDF. So I don't know what the school's doing, man. We all need this software. And after trying out a lot of PDF editors, I realized that all the other editors out there just missed that one or two features that I'm looking for, but it's just not there. So I often have to figure out ways to work around that, which is not that productive as you can assume. So when UPDF found me, I was super excited, and this is definitely something I'm adding to my productivity apps folder, like a productive guru. I guess. UPDF is essentially an all-in-one PDF editor that you can view, annotate, edit, convert, sign, just basically anything you want to do with a PDF file. And you can really deep dive into this app to figure out some features, for example, like the AI Assistant, which we're going to talk about later on in this video. And the best part is you can use it across all platforms with your just one account. So no matter if you edit it on dock on your MacBook, you can still find it on your phone. Not to mention, it basically suggests all systems systems, iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, iPad OS, like anything, all the devices you have. Now let me do a quick demonstration for you. So to open a PDF, just drag a file into the app and on the left sidebar, you can basically see all the features like editing the text on it, which is pretty basic and straightforward. Form editing function where you can prepare a form and use the functions inside to fill the form and to add your digital signature. Cover up any sentences that you don't need or cover up something that come potential with the redact feature. Also changing the orders of the pages if you happen to have multiple of them and you switch the order and lastly you can also crop the entire page layout and so much more I'm honestly just touching the surface of UPDF and I can already see how this really stand out and really have some really special features compared to all the other PDF editors out there actually just a few days ago I had to sign a contract for some really exciting projects that we're gonna uh, probably gonna see in the future and obviously I can't sign like on my MacBook, I can't just like trace on with my finger on the touchpad. So I dragged the PDF into UPDF and opened it on my iPad and I finished signing the signature like a boss and I can still open the exact same PDF that I just signed on my iPad on my MacBook. And obviously that's thanks to the cloud storage. Some other features you should know is adding a new text box, inserting an image and also embedding a link onto the PDF which you can all find on the top row. And lastly, on the right, you can find specific words in the file, export the file in any format you want, PowerPoint, JPEG, PNG, like anything you imagine. And also share as a link or through email, etc, etc. Okay, I know that's quite a lot of feature, isn't it? And one feature that I love most about, which I talked about earlier on at the beginning of this video, which is their AI feature that they recently just incorporated in. For example, when I get a rubric for an assignment, I can ask the AI to summarize them into key points, generate extra keywords, so I know exactly what I need to do and put my head in the right direction for this assignment, while still saving me some time while not spending an entire day just to redo the entire project. Now, while I was finishing up this project, I played around with the AI features a little bit more. For example, I asked it to translate it into Chinese, and I gotta say, it's done a pretty good job. And not to mention all the other languages, like I guess there's like 10 or 20 of them they can see over here. And also you can ask the AI any questions, for example, their thoughts on potatoes, kind of random, but I guess why not? So I guess if you're writing a report directly onto this PDF, it'll come in pretty handy. And I also ask it to explain a part of the sentences and just look at it work its magic. It just literally turned three dot shots to like three paragraphs. 
Oh yeah, and of course I didn't take any words from the AI to put in my final copy. It's like, obviously I wouldn't do that, right? So with all that being said, I've already left the link down in the description with an exclusive 63% off discount. So make sure to not miss out on that. If not, you can still register an account for a free trial and whenever you want to and just to try out this software and I know that you're going to love it. Once again, thank you UPDF for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like, drop a sub. Yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next video.